Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studios and welcome to the 8th tutorial of the 3D Low Poly Game Modeling for Beginners series. In this tutorial we will be modeling a sci-fi door. Go ahead and change the renderer to cycles. Go into orthographic view which is 5 on the numpad and front view which is 1 on the numpad and tab into edit mode. Go into top view, which is 7 on the numpad, and scale the cube along the y axis. S, Y, point 0.1, and scale the cube along the x axis, S, X, 30. Then go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad. Scale the cube along the z-axis, S, Z, 8. Go into face mode with control tab and select the bottom face of the wall and extrude the face along the z-axis, E, point 0.3. Then select the front face of this extrusion. Go into top view, which is 7 on the numpad. And extrude the face along the y axis. E, Y, negative 12. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. Add a cube with Shift A. And align it to the bottom front of the wall. Go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad. Make sure you're in face mode. You can do this control tab. Select the top face and use the manipulator to move the face up along the z-axis until it's about 4 blender units from the top of the wall. You can go into wireframe using Z to help you out. Then select the entire door with your L key and scale it along the X axis, S, X, 6. Go into edge mode with control tab and select the top right edge of the door. Then add a bevel, control B and number 1. Then select the top left edge of the door and add a bevel, control B, 1. Go back into face mode with control tab. Select the front face of the door and inset it, I, 1. Go back into edge mode with control tab and select the bottom edge of the inset door. Then use your manipulator and slide the edge down along the z-axis until it's about a tenth of a blender unit from the bottom. Go into face mode with control tab and select the front interface. Go into right side view, which is 3 on the numpad, and wireframe, which is Z and extrude the face along the y-axis, E, Y, 1. Go back into solid mode with Z and front view with 1 on the numpad. Add a vertical loop cut to the front door frame with Control R. Select the innermost edge loop with Alt and right clicking and add a bevel, control B, 0.5. Go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. 
Add two horizontal loop cuts onto the door frame with Control R. Go into face mode with Control Tab and front view, which is one on the numpad. Then select the two interfaces between the edge loops that you just made. and extrude them along the x-axis E X negative 0.5 now select the right side face and inset the face I 0.2 then extrude this inset face along the x-axis E X 0.05 then select the left face and inset it I.1 and extrude this face along the x-axis E X.05 then select the top two faces extrude them along the z-axis E2 Go into edge mode with control tab and add eight loop cuts to these newest extrusions with control R. Go into face mode with control tab and beginning with the second one down you want to select every other face. Then inset the faces, I.05, and extrude these inset faces along the X axis, E X.05. Now go into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad, and add a cylinder with Shift A. Make sure you change the vertices to 16. Now move the cylinder so it is in front of the door frame. Rotate the cylinder around the Y axis 90 degrees. R, Y, 90. Go into front view which is 1 on the numpad. Scale the cylinder along the X axis. S, X, 0.1. Go back into the right side view, which is 3 on the numpad. Scale the whole cylinder, S.3. Go into top view, which is 7 on the numpad. And we want to move the cylinder to the top third of the door frame. Put it on the right side. And we're going to want to move it about half a blender unit from the top. Select the front face of the cylinder and inset it. I.05. Go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad and extrude the face along the x-axis E X.1 and then go ahead and hit X and delete this front face add a torus with shift A and rotate it around the x-axis 90 degrees R X 90 Then move the torus so you can actually see it. I would recommend pulling it all the way to the right of the actual wall so it's easier to work with. Now 
go into wireframe mode which is Z and deselect everything with your A key then using box select which is your B key select the left hand side of the torus and delete it and then using your B key for box select again select the bottom half of the torus and delete it then go back into solid mode with Z select the entire torus with your L key and scale it S.3 then use a the manipulator and line the torus with the extruded cylinder Go into edge mode with control tab and deselect everything with your A key. Select the edge loop of the torus with alt right click and then select the front edge loop with the cylinder with shift alt right click. Then we need to bridge the loops so hit W bridge edge loops Go into face mode with control tab and select the entire pipe with your L key. Then scale the pipe S.3 and then align it to the right side of the door frame. Then go into edge mode with control tab and select the bottom edge loop of the pipe. And with alt right click. Then you want to use your manipulator and extrude this edge loop down along the z-axis until it meets the floor. Go into face mode with control tab and we want to select the entire pipe. Hit your L key. Make a copy of shift D and rotate it around the z-axis 180 degrees R Z 180 then move this copied pipe to the left side of the door then scale the pipe S3 and align it to the left side of the door frame try to make it about the same height as the other one Go into edge mode with control tab. I want to select the bottom edge loop of this pipe. Do this with alt right click. Then move this edge up along the z-axis until it meets the top of the floor.
go into top view, just 7 on the numpad, and add a cylinder with shift A. Use the manipulator and center the cylinder over the left side pipe. Scale the cylinder along the X and Y axis, S, Shift, Control, Alt, Z, 0.6. Go into front view, which is 1 on the numpad, and select the top and bottom edges of the cylinder, Alt, Right and then shift alt right for the bottom then bevel the edges control B point two then add two horizontal edge loops with control R left click only once and scale the edge loops along the Z axis S Z point five then slide the edge loops up along the z-axis until they're about two-tenths of a blender unit below the top bevel. Go into face mode with control tab. Then select the faces between the edge loops. You can do this with alt and right click. Duplicate the faces with shift D and scale the faces, S 1.1. Go into edge mode with control tab. Then select the top edge loop of the extruded region with Alt right click and the top edge loop of the cylinder with Shift Alt right click and then fill in the face using your F key. Then select the bottom edge loop of the extruded region with Alt right click and the corresponding edge loop on the cylinder with Shift Alt right click and again hit your F key to fill in the space. Go into face mode with Control tab Now we want to select this loop of faces, hit your L key, duplicate them with Shift D, and then move them down along the Z axis until they're about two tenths of a blender unit above this top bevel. Then select this entire unit with your L key, and scale it. S.6. Make sure it's centered. Duplicate this entire unit with Shift D. And then move it down along the Z axis until it's about three tenths of a blender unit above the floor. Make sure you are in front view, which is one on your numpad. Then select this inset piece of the door and inset it again, I.5. Go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad. Add a cube with Shift A and move it in front of the door frame. Scale the cube along the Y axis, S, Y, point one. Go into front view, which is one on the numpad. Then use the manipulator and align the cube with the top of this inset face. Then select this bottom face of what's going to be our door and move it down along the z-axis with the manipulator until it is at the bottom of the inset face.
then select the right side of the door and use the manipulator and move it over to the edge of the inset face and then select the left side and move this face to the left until it meets the edge of the inset face. Go into edge mode with control tab and add two vertical loop cuts. Left click only once and scale the edge loops along the x-axis S, X, 0, 1. Then add three horizontal loop cuts. Control R. Left click only once. Then slide the edge loops down along the Z axis until the bottom edge loop is about a blender unit up from the bottom of the door. Then add six horizontal loop cuts to the top section of the door. Control R. Add five horizontal loop cuts to the second section. Control R. And five horizontal loop cuts to the third section. Go into vertex mode with control tab. Then using box select, which is your B key, we want to select the fifth and sixth pair of vertices from the top. Then use the manipulator and move the vertices to the right about three tenths of a blender unit. Then we want to select the 16th and 17th pair of vertices from the top. Make sure you deselect everything, then use your B key, select the vertices and move them to the left about three tenths of a blender unit. Then deselect everything again. Go back into edge mode with control tab and select the third through the seventh loop cuts from the top. Then select the 9th through the 12th loop cuts as well. And then the 14th through the 19th loop cuts. Then we want to dissolve these edges, so hit X and dissolve edges. Go into face mode with control tab. Then select these six middle faces and inset them. I.3. Go into the right side view, which is three on the numpad and wireframe which is Z and extrude the faces along the Y axis E Y point one go back into front view which is one on the numpad and solid mode with Z then select the very bottom faces of the door frame and then move them down until they meet this top section of the bottom of the door frame. 
and select the entire door with your L key and go into wireframe mode with your Z key go into top view just 7 on the numpad and move the door into place then go back into solid mode with Z and front view with one on the numpad and if you need to make any adjustments I'm going to move this floor down just a bit go ahead and do that go ahead and open up the material tab click on the plus button and the new button and rename this material base and change the color to a light gray I'm using the hex code of 7E7E7E select your entire model with your A key and assign the base material click on the plus button and the new button and rename the material blue light and change the color to a blue color I'm using the hex code of 0086E7 and change this surface to emission Then select the inset faces of the bottom section of the interior door. Then go ahead and assign the blue color. Click on the plus button and the new button. Name this material red light. And give the material red color. I'm using the hex code of E71B12. then select the inset faces at the top section of the door frame and assign the red light material And there you have your very simple low-poly sci-fi door. I hope you found this useful. Have a good day.